why should we be uh, keeping tabs on food too, you think? Yes, great question. And uh, well, fortunately, even despite that big drop alley yesterday in the stock, uh, Arthur Chen didn't cancel our interview <laughs> uh, last night uh, through Zoom. And uh, so he, he is based in Hong Kong. The company has its headquarters in Shenzhen, which is a major economic center in southern China, just north of Hong Kong. And I was very impressed with uh, all of his answers uh, to just a, a few of my questions. And basically, the, the company uh, is very, very research oriented. Um, it's an all digital company. They, they don't have any brick and mortar branches, if you will, like a TD Ameritrade or a Schwab might have. And, and so 70% of their 1,500 person workforce is devoted to research and development and product development. So they even have a, an app, it's called Moo Moo, M-O-O, M-O-O, which uh, uh, customers even in the US and Singapore can actually use to not only trade stocks or, or futures or options, but also just be part of a community of like-minded people. So uh, I was very impressed with their freemium model they have uh, a lot of people who, who are not really paying customers. They don't have any of their assets uh, based with Futu, but they, they can still get quotes. Uh, they can listen to conference calls uh, or video uh, earnings uh, news releases and, and, and participate in that way uh, through the app. They have one that's called Futu Bull, and then the other one's Futu uh, Moo Moo. Uh, and I didn't ask why it's called Moo Moo. I mean, is it, is it a play on the bull, you know, going Moo Moo? I'm, I'm not sure. But in any case, uh, the, the, the company, as you can see, has incredible growth here. They're very, they're very bullish uh, about the future in part because they're focused on the millennials and Gen X uh, uh, side of, 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 the, of the, the China society. And uh, they're very obviously smartphone savvy, very tech savvy, very interested in uh, trading and, and learning how to grow their wealth. As you know how here in the US, uh, uh, we, don't, we don't pay commissions for equity trades anymore. Uh, when you sell a stock, you do pay a little bit of a fee to the SEC. They still charge commissions for equities in addition to futures or options in Hong Kong uh, because uh, they don't have a payment for order flow system. Uh, where they, you know, you can make money by taking someone's trade and, and giving it to uh, another market maker. Uh, and so that market in Hong Kong has not been developed. It's very strict regulations. So even Charles Schwab and Interactive Brokers, they compete in Hong Kong. They actually charge their local customers a fee for making a trade. Uh, second point is that they are now trying to create some growth in Singapore and in the US and allow all of its customers to trade US stocks. Uh, that I found very interesting. They just uh, started their app in March. And then the third um, big point that I got was that in addition to trading commission fees, they're also trying to develop a strong business in ESOPs which is employee stock ownership programs uh, in order to find new wealthy customers at so-called new economy firms. So we're not talking about, you know, the coal miners and uh, the railroad companies um, or, or, or those kind of uh, uh, heavily state-owned enterprise type of names uh, or companies in China, but really newer tech, tech high-tech related firms uh, across the country, their world's number two economy. And uh, they're very much interested in wealth management, education. In fact, if you want to trade warrants or certain kinds of options, you actually have to take a test. You have to take a multiple choice test and pass it before you're allowed to trade on the Futu platform. So uh, very, very interesting uh, growth story. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying that this is a buy right now. Uh, the stock has had a major move. But, you know, it's forming a, a base. We'd like to see it maybe tighten up and see what the future um, uh, reports uh, uh, give us.